And welcome back to our little village of Buttocks on the Mend. And if you want to know where that comes from, that, that, that name, I, <laughs> my strange deranged brain, that's where that came from. This is the River Mend, and this is going to be the town of Buttocks. Buttocks on the Mend. Alright, okay, insanity moment over. Uh, now, a few people commented that we did have um, a few starvation deaths. I think it was four... One, two, three, yeah, one, two, three, four. Uh, which was not good, and that was, um, it was an oversight, because I was talking about this stupid barn and everything, but, um, I should have been paying a, a little bit more attention. I, I'm kind, I, I kind of don't mind too much, uh, losing one or two people at this point, because we've got through the first winter, we've got enough people, uh, we'd already, we've got quite a few kids being born at the moment, so that's not too bad. Um, but... Yeah, I, you know, I should have kept on top of it. You know, I actually thought, look, I mean, look at this. Look at this production. We produced like 1,100 um, in the previous year, which um, that's enough to feed uh, 11 people, isn't it? Yeah. So actually, we do need to put a third fisherman in there. Um, it's actually producing a little bit more than I thought. You remember I said about 700? I actually produced like 1,100, so um, not bad at all. So hopefully, we get another guy in there, and we should actually start keeping up. So um, yeah, that was that was my bad. Always keep an eye on uh, on stuff. And again, I have a problem hearing the um, the alerts, and I'm also blind <laughs> and mad. All right, let's let's get on with this. Now our hunters have been cracking on. Uh, they're bringing in a bit of food now, which is good. So, I mean, we had 1,100 over there, and 360, so we're talking like, for, well, I mean, yeah, we should have been, we should be able to support like around 15 people, which, um, so I, I think we're a, maybe a little bit unlucky to lose, um, to lose those people, but hey, hey ho, that's the way it goes. Um, but the, the important thing is, we're bringing in some leather now. Uh, which is like seriously important because we're down to our last coat. So what I'm going to do, um, I, yeah, I'd really love to move this dump, but I'm not going to do it right now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a tailor in, and I'm going to start off by putting in a road down here. Uh, more than anything, just to kind of mark it. And then I'm going to put in a tailor. And I think I'm going to put the tailor in down here. Now that is going to mean he's going to have a, a... I mean, it's not a long walk. It's going to be a little bit of a walk. But I want to keep the tailor close to the um, close to the market. Because once we get the market going, the, um, the vendor's going to be bringing stuff up, like the leather and whatever. So um, the tailor won't have... Uh, a, a long way to go, so we can just put him right next to the market, which should be quite good, I think. So let's do that. Um, so, so now, how am I going to orient this? So I could put him that way on, which is very tempting. Uh, or I could put him that way on. See, I'm thinking, you know. So I kind of, I kind of like the streets. You know, like put a, put a, you know, have lots of ways for them to get to places. So kind of thinking about maybe, maybe that there. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to put him there. Boom. Okay. So Taylor's in. Um, we can probably let me let's check out the 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 kids and whatever situation. Uh, we've got somebody there who could move out. They'll be able to move out any second. So we actually do need another house. So, let's bring up the old houses. And I kind of want to measure this. Hmm. Yeah, I'm tempted to put this road in as well so I can really see what I'm doing. There we go. Let's see a bit better now. Yeah, I uh, would have been nice if I could get a couple of houses in there, but I don't think I quite 
fit. You know, it's a bit of a nuisance. So I think what I'm going to do is put one down this end here. Or maybe, actually, opposite... Ah, yeah, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to put one opposite the, uh, the tailor. Yeah, why not? Yeah, 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 happy with that. So the, the tailor can live there. That's good. And it like it, spreading the houses out a bit kind of helps because um, obviously you do have some, some spare labourers and whatever and having them spread out a bit is, is not really a bad thing. Okay, so we've got this house down here which is getting built, which is very good. We've only got one builder at the moment. Would have been kind of good if I hadn't, like, killed half the population by starving them, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. No use crying over smil mil spilt milk. Right, let's get on. So, like, right now, to be honest, there isn't kind of too much to do other than let them, like, pretty much get on with it. How are we doing for, like, uh, I'm pretty sure that we need some... Yeah, we need some wood and we need some stone. So let's um, let's designate some of that. Early game, it's all about just like chopping down trees and picking up logs and stuff. You know, I'm, t I'm tempted to just like take the majority of this stuff. Yeah, let's grab those and um, grab this stone from up here. That's no bad thing at all. But we're Obviously, having lost a, a few people, it does make us short on uh, on labourers. We've only got, like, kind of two guys. I'd like to see this food number going up a bit. We should be fine now. I mean, with, um, with three fishermen and two hunters, I mean, we should be cranking out the food, like, pretty much big styly. Yeah, they're banging out the fish. Venison's coming along. Um, so let's see, we've got, uh, we've got the woodcutter. The woodcutter is going to reach the, uh, the, the limit, uh, which is about 200. Let's put the, actually, that's, that's a good idea, let's put the limits up, because you know what I'm like, I always suck with the limits, so... Um, Where's the limits? There, there it is. Let's put the limits up so that we can we can see what we're doing. Um, so fuel, the limit is is 200. Um, yeah, I'm just going to push that up to 300 for now. I don't want to go too much above that because I do want to use him uh, kind of more as a labourer uh, as much as possible. So we'll we'll like 300 is comfortable for now, but we'll bump that up fairly soon. Uh, everything else is okay. They're getting on with chopping this stuff down. Let's crank this up to times ten because literally there is nothing for us to do other than let them get on and uh, build these houses. Getting this house built is going to be a very good thing. Because at the moment our hunters have got to go all the way up here to their house. So let's see. See, look, like the woodcutter has moved into here. And he's got to work there. Now that's kind of a bit silly. See, th see that I don't understand. That, that kind of doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Hmm. Okay, well, okay, now we've got a hunter has moved in there. They kind of move around a bit. And we've got a builder. Okay, well, at least one of the hunters is in there, so, um, not the end of the world. Come on, guys, get all this stuff down. We want, we want that tailor. We are early winter. Clothes do last a little while, so... They'll probably get through this winter before they um, before they need another one. And unless, of course, we get uh, new people as they become adults, they'll need uh, they'll need clothes. But hopefully, if we get the um, the tailor built, we've got all the uh, we just need two stone, 
and then the tailor will get built. We'll allocate that tailor up front so that he gets straight to work. I think probably the next thing I'm going to do is, is put in another house down here because we need to start extending extending this um, this forest node. Uh, I really want to get um, a gatherer put in here and I want uh, a forester to uh, to start planting this and, and bringing in the, uh, the the logs. And then it's probably going to be maybe this forest node over here, get that going. Put a, a barn and some houses up here. Yeah, that that looks like the plan. I'm kind of stalling, waiting for them to get this tailor built. Oh, they're cranking it out. What are we up to? We're up to 10 and 7. Now, the other thing um, which somebody mentioned, and it's a very, very good point, is about building a school early. So, I think we're kind of getting to that point, because we've got like 7 kids, and we want these guys to start getting educated as early as possible. Uh, it, it just makes everything so much easier. So let's have a look. Uh, what do we need to get a school up and running? Uh, so 50 logs, 16 stone, 16 iron, which is not a lot. So um, yeah, I'm thinking we, we do that kind of sooner rather than later. Now where am I going to put the school? That's the, that's the big question. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking that might not be the worst place in the world. Yeah, I'm going to plonk that right in there. To, you know, to be honest, if I gave it a bit more thought, uh, I might have come up with a better place for it. Maybe sort of in between. You know what? Actually, I'm going to move it. I'm going to move it because that, that was kind of a silly thing to do, to be honest. This is where the, like, the planning and like taking a little bit of thought. I, I'm going to have houses here, I'm going to have some houses here, and I'm going to have some houses here. So, the best place for the school, for the kids to get to it, would be to have it like around here. So, I'm going to put it down this end. That makes, that makes a lot more sense. So, school. Flip him around, and I'm going to pop him there. Leaving enough room. And I think I've probably got room for a house there for the teacher. That'll be quite good. Alrighty. Did I... Have I left like too... I think I may have left too much room. I'm not sure. Let's extend that road down there. Oh no, I got it in the right place. Good, good, good. Right. Check the event log, Sky. Make sure people aren't dying. Right, and the food is actually going up now. We're up to 500. Good. So, I'm not going to be starving people to death. <laughs> which, is, which is always a good thing. Okay, how's our tailor doing? Oh, good. He's got his leather. He's starting to produce... Oh, he's already produced 13. Yeah, we've got our hide coats going. So that's that's another tick on our checklist. So we... Uh, how are we doing for, for firewood? We could probably do with some more logs. Right. I'm going to get the school done. As soon as the school's done, we're going to get the, the logs going. So in the meantime, um, we need to cut some more of these down. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take all the ones on the island, I think. Cause I, I'm pretty sure all of this is gonna be pretty intensively um, filled with uh, sort of industrial buildings and whatever. And then we've got all of our forest nodes. Now um, somebody else was talking uh, um, posted a comment or, or I think a couple of people posted a comment about um, different, you know, using different maps and doing the mountain man and, and what was I going to do and whatever. And I kind of got it in my back pocket that I, I kind of want to see once once we get up to sort of, you know, 
maybe up to around 100 population, kind of assess it. And if I think I can get to 300 population on this map, maybe have a try for isolationists, which is get up to get up to a, th a population of 300 without trading. Now, I don't think I can do it on this map. Um, I, but I don't know. It's going to be really interesting to see. Um, we've got like four forest nodes set up, right? Now, four forest nodes uh, with gatherers, they should produce like about 2,000 a year. So that's like about, say, eight, so I call it 8,000. Um, three fish, 1,500 a piece, that's another, uh, say, 4,500. So we're up to. Um, what did I say? Something like, like, like 16 and a half thousand. Um, so that's going to support about 160 people. Uh, we've got the hunters as well. 200. Oh, you know, I mean, we might be able to do it. The, um, the big downside with these maps is that... Y because you're not trading... Uh, you have to get your iron and stone and whatever. And because when they run out, you don't get the space back and you have to put in another one, y you're racing against the clock because if you take too long, then uh, you're going to start using up all of your land with, with mines and quarries and stuff. Um, which is going to be a bit of an issue, but... Like I said, we'll keep it in the back pocket and we'll we'll see what we can do. Now, we're getting lots of people, you know, doing stuff and becoming labourers and all kinds of things. How's, uh, how's our school coming along? I think we need some more stone, do we not? Yes, we do. So, I think at this point, we've got that node there. I'm going to put in a bridge over here and I think I'm going to put it in parallel with that road to the point where I'm going to extend that road to there and then I'm going to pop in a bridge and then we'll um, we'll collect all of this stone from over here let's just get all of it because we're going to need it. Because we've got... Uh, how we got these buildings to build? We've got the, the, the school. And the houses. I mean, the houses take a lot. But, put it like... Wooden houses versus stone houses. Stone houses just save so much in terms of firewood. That I really think that they're worth doing. Um, I'm trying to keep an eye on everything. Like... This is all looking very good. Got four loads. Let's pop in an extra builder just just for now. Seriously tempted to crank an extra hunter up, but I think I'm going to leave it. We're, we're doing okay with the clothes. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not going to worry too much about that. I'm going to keep an eye on that number. We're maxing out on the tools at 50. That's good. How are we doing for iron? We don't have any iron at the moment, so let's, um, let's collect a bit of this. That's not a bad thing. And um, stone, we've got a little bit. Logs, I think we still need some more logs. Man, we really need to get this, um, this forester up and running. 